Yo, this is a new segment called Trent Takes, and I want to give my takes just on, not only on music, but the industry and the culture as it is. And today in the headlines, Pink Panthers, which is a new artist, came out with a new interview, and she says some unbelievable things, and I want y'all to check it out, and I'm going to give my review or my reaction after. I'm going to tell y'all a few things, how I feel about what she said about the time limit of songs, how they should be, and what's the, you know what I'm saying? So let me play this video for y'all, and I'm going to come back with my reaction. You're fucking paying a bunch and making reaction bits. <laughs> I hate you niggas that make reaction bits. <laughs> Pink Pantheris is the artist mm -hmm. to watch. The British-born pop star released one of the most popular songs in 2023. She was yeah, also named the producer real, of the year at the 2024 Billboard Women in Music Awards. And tomorrow, she is dropping a brand new single. How did Pink find herself react tomorrow, at the top right? of these charts? Well, our Ashen Singh finds out in tonight's Prime Playlist. <laughs> Now, I don't know if this gets scrubbed from the internet because I'm reacting to a YouTube video and it's on social media. For Pink Panthers, each beat but listen. is a new beginning. <laughs> Just a few years ago, the British singer-songwriter was anonymously creating songs in her bedroom for TikTok. Now, the 23-year-old is producing massive hits, like Boys a Liar Part 2, one of the biggest songs of 2023. I reacted to that, so make sure y'all go check crap. that out on my video. That always sound like intense, but like in a good way, because I love intensity. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You hear yeah, what she said? I do, because there's no point doing anything unless you're going to be intense about it. At the Pack Brooklyn Paramount, thousands sing every word to break it off. Okay! <laughs> a song originally posted to TikTok. With the help of fans, it's not one of the many With songs the that are popular, posting hundreds of millions of streams. My biggest nightmare has been the idea of doing a job that I really didn't want to do and settling. That's, I couldn't do it. I was like, no, there's going to be a way out. Even if I couldn't sing, I, I thought I'd still find a way to do this. Before her show, we caught up with Pink Panthers for a rare interview at the independent Brooklyn movie theater, Night Hop. They just highlighting her before she say what she lyrics, said. And songs short so. and sweet, rarely longer than two and a half minutes. I was able to experiment and and making short songs was just a result of me experimenting. And a song doesn't need to be longer than two minutes, honey. In my opinion, we don't need to repeat the verse. We don't need to have a bridge. We don't need it. We don't need to learn out for Music has always been a part of Pink. In her early teens, she became the lead singer of a rock band, inspired by the performance style of none other than Haley Williams from the band Paramore. Tell me about where the name came from, Pink Panthers. I was trying to make an account on TikTok, and I... Oh! No, I even... Look, look. She was saying and shit was, about... I wanted it to just be kind of us. Before I get my take, I'm gonna let her speak. And I was just like, this is a throwaway account anyway. So let me just put Pink in front of it, because I love the film. And that was how it was born, but I really was planning to change it. Pink would begin using the free audio workstation, GarageBand, to produce her songs. Developing Garage the band. Shout out to Garage band. Band. iPhone users. The UK this is a shot on the iPhone, the first by the way. Y'all don't have to have a camera to start your YouTube shit. You shoot on your iPhone. And my first thought was, who the heck is this? I need to find out more, more music from this girl. Right. And I couldn't. There was nothing online. I made myself very incognito. I wanted people to, at that point, have like a real strong desire and like a real like taste for it. All right, I'm done with talking. They trying to find out who who she about, what she where she come from. Basically, the whole thing is she made music off Garage Band, and Garage Band is an app that come on everybody phone. It's not on my phone no more because I'm one of them Apple users. Like, I don't need all the apps, so I delete a lot of apps just to save space. I know it's a few like like me out there. But as um, far as the music, the, the takeaway from this subject is she feel like music shouldn't be longer than two minutes 
are two minutes and 30 seconds. And that's basically fucking up the game. Let me tell y'all that because one, there's no lint to music. As a person who used to make music and a person who enjoy the music nowadays, my main thing I say in all my videos, I do music reactions all the time. And I grade each song from zero to 10. The reason why I don't give a lot of songs 10, cause I'm the only realist music reactor. I'm gonna be the, the number one music reactor soon, but um, I don't give a lot of songs 10s because it gotta be a perfect song. And to start, to me, a perfect song in my idea, this is just my idea. I don't know if y'all agree, but tell me, a perfect song is three minutes to 3.30 seconds. Three minutes and or three minutes and 30 seconds. That's what I mean. I always say, if it's shorter than three minutes, it has to be a banger. It has to be a banger. That's my thing. It has to be a banger if it's short song. I react to a lot of music. I got songs on my playlist. And my second thing, if I don't give it a 10, it's not a perfect song. So I don't give a fuck if you a bar. Shout out to the bars that watch me and critique me or whatnot. But every song by Nicki Minaj is not a 10. Um, shout out to the Beehive, Beyonce. I, I fucks with Beyonce. She from the H. I'm from the H. But it, every Beyonce song is not a 10. And I got to argue with the fan base on why I gave my grade. But I stick to my 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 um morals like i feel like a song should she say a song shouldn't have a bridge it shouldn't have like hooks repetitive first of all let me tell y'all this the chorus y'all call it chorus or the hook is the main attraction to the song period from the early days to the now days the hook is the main factor to a song so if you don't get me on a hook I don't give a fuck about your verse. And let, let's be real. There have been songs that came out that didn't have hooks or just had a long verse, a hook in the, the beginning and a hook at the end, just a one long verse and it was good. It, there have been songs with no hooks at all and they've been good. But from my point of view of not only making music, and I used to make like, the reason why Drake is one of my favorite artists because he rap and sing. So rap got a different type of standard and singing got a different type of standard. And I feel like, cause I grew up singing like, like not only singing the Michael Jackson's and the uh, Temptations and everything I heard growing up to now. Songs was a, a hook. Most songs, look, this is the structure of most songs, a hook. A verse, the hook, a verse, the bridge, a verse, and an end. That's why I say a song should be three minutes long because you can give me a hook. It don't matter how long, but I need that. A lot of the artists nowadays, a lot of the artists not putting in a lot of effort. A lot of the artists doing hook, verse, hook, I'm ending a song. And even if we bless enough to get a second verse, they'll do hook, verse, hook, verse, hook, and they'll get out of there. The bridge is definitely a part because music, to me, is, is different type of music. You got music that touch your soul. You got music for your ears. You got music for your head just to rock out. You got music for your body to make you dance. You got music for the soul. But regardless of what type of music is, you got to put in effort. And not only that, like, we don't want to see you perform a song to the people who like live performances or people like radio records and hearing it. We don't want to, we honestly don't want to hear a song that's two minutes. And if, and if it's a good song, we got to keep on replaying it. No, we want to hear a good ass song and get us to the next song. Just give us a good song. And get us to the next song. And matter of fact, if it's that good at three minutes, and, and if it's a longer song and it's that good and you want to replay it, 
That's showing you the power of that music or that song. It's showing you like, I don't give a fuck this song five minutes. If I replay it, that song is a banger. Somebody said in the comments, the older artists, the 90 artists, the 80 artists, that's the reason why they still getting booked and busy. That is the reason. That's true. That's a true statement because the new artists, we be coming out, we be showing, we be trying to get them, but they got a short song. We barely know that song, but it's short. And then they be cheating the game. Like, think about all the up and coming artists that get booked and they only got one popular song. Yes, they working on other music, but they got one popular song. They got to pay that popular song at least three, four, five times just the just to feel out their time slot on the performance. So one having a short song, I do not agree with that. Having a let me let me also play Devil's Advocate. Having these super long ass songs that don't mean shit don't. It really don't mean, I don't, I don't knock a long song. Like, let's take it back. Bohemian Rhapsody. I was just reacting to that last, yesterday. I was listening to Bohemian Rhapsody by Queen. That's my favorite rock group. But that song is three songs. It's basically three songs in one, but it was perfected well. It's longer um, than what you expect. It's like a six minute song. And even back then they were like six minutes. Who gonna listen to this six minute song? But the thing about Bohemian Rhapsody, it was a banger all the way through. That why that's the reason why people took that motto. Like you see people nowadays like Travis Scott. You see people with sicko mode. You see a lot of people trying to convert songs and to make it one song just because it as an artist it make it better. Sometimes people force the like, oh, I'm going to mix this song with this song. And it's like a forced situation. That's why I don't give everything a 10 that's a long song. Cause just because it's long as hell, don't make it good. And even me doing my first time reactions, make sure y'all check out my first time reactions. Um, Some long songs put you to sleep, but I have been reacting to a lot of rock. Like, um, Lincoln, not Lincoln Park, but... um. Pink Floyd got a lot of long songs. Pink Floyd is the king of the long songs. And they shit jam. Um, Rolling Stones, who I just reacted to on some first time here type of thing. They got some long songs. They got some short songs. But it's still long enough to have you intrigued. Not back then. They didn't put out too many songs. And even now, I know nowadays we in a TikTok, we in a social media area. And everybody just want to make a song so they song can get replay value. And the replay value ain't real life replay value. It ain't like the DJ going to play that hoe again. It ain't like you going to play that hoe again. It's the fact that the, the it's so short, you going to be on social media going to all the fucking videos and dances that's going to that song. And it's really playing the same part over and over again. But... I just want to touch on this. This want to be this this is gonna be my first time doing a like a music take. And I'm gonna do more music takes. And I do want y'all to go check out my music reactions. Cause I always preach a, a perfect song to me is three minutes and three thirty seconds. Because in three minutes, the reason I say that in three minutes, you could give me two hooks and a bridge. She trying to cancel out the bridge. And I, I shout out to all the people who like, man, the bridge is my favorite part of the song. And I'm from H-Town. Who the queen of the bridges in H-Town? Michelle Williams from Destiny Child. Every Destiny Child song was dope. Beyonce had her part. She did her thing. Everybody bopping out to it. Kelly had her part bopping out to it. They was the best singers. But... You know what got in people in tune to them songs? Like, really, the people, the, the, the loudest part is Michelle Williams. The bridge, bro, the bridge. It it brings it all together. And my name is Lil Trent Music, and I cannot touch on this subject without bringing in. No, we're bringing bridges into music. If you not, do, I don't knock the people who don't want to do bridges, but I'm telling you, your career is not going to last. We're not fucking with you. And the fact that this a new artist named Pink Pinterest, 
as much as music I, I reacted to, as much music, new music, old music, I probably only reacted to one of her songs, and that's only because she did a collaboration with Ice Spice. So, not saying she don't make good music or bad music. I'm not taking nothing from the artist herself, but the fact that you say, like, music should be two minutes, like, come on. I understand the radio and they, even the clubs don't play the whole song sometimes. I get that. The the good, the reason I like the, the, that the radio and the motherfucking clubs don't play the whole songs and all that, because if you a true, if you a true fan of that song, you know, like, oh, that was just a teaser. I could listen to the whole song on my own. I could jam it on my own. But if you got a song that I could play at the club, at the, what's it called, in one videotape, and it's that short, and I got to keep on pressing the replay because I, say if it's a dope-ass two-minute song, and I like it a lot, I got to keep on hitting the replay button. Nobody want to keep on hitting the replay button? That shit pissed me off, and I just want to be this my first take. Like I said, if y'all watch me, I'm going to always say the best songs is three minutes to 3.30 seconds. If y'all new to watching me, I want to know what y'all think. Do y'all agree with songs being two minutes, 2.30 seconds? I definitely don't agree with that. And if y'all do, let me know reasons why. Like, explain this shit to me. But anywho, man, make sure y'all subscribe, man. I'm about to be live right now, catching a vibe on Twitch. We on Twitch right now, but make sure y'all follow me on every social media. Lil Trent Music is spelled the same way as my channel. So if y'all rocking out, click that next video. It's probably me. It's probably somebody else. Support them too. If not, I'll...